guys. Hello, hello <clears throat> from Jayala, Sri Lanka on a cloudy Saturday afternoon. I just had an incredible lunch. Our cook came by and made a really beautiful lunch. Uh, rice, bean curry, green bean curry, and my favorite shrimp with curry, tr curry shrimp. Oh my God, just so amazing. And then I actually asked for extra spicy pulsembol, which is like a co shredded coconut with spices in it. Oh, made me actually cough a little bit because it was so, so spicy, but I loved it. So today I'm gonna talk about, again, some of the little things that, you know, make me happy, the things I miss. I don't know, this is just a general chat, uh, nothing really specific that I wanna talk about, but I will point out that today I am on a mission to find, uh, well, sorry, today I'm gonna to talk about um, things I need. It is Aug end of August and the things I need and the things I'm planning on doing for the next three months. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so it is August. I just got back from vacation from Thailand and I've got the travel bug in my head. I don't know what's going on over here. Some kind of construction. Wow, that's a big forklift. That is a really big forklift. Wow. Let's get out of the way of that. Look at that. That is an industrial sized forklift. I have never seen a forklift that big out in public. Wow, I've only seen the little one. That is a big, baby. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is a big, big ass forklift. I don't know where he's going or what he's doing, but I don't see anything going on over here. So, today I am going to go shopping for coffee maker. One of the things that I missed, that I didn't realize I missed, was a good cup of coffee. So today, I'm gonna take a walk over to Dambro. And then maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, we're gonna go to K-Zone and look at Singer. Singer, uh, Singer, and A-Bombs, uh, Abrams, or A-Bombs, are the other, uh, tech stores so I have been I'm not a big coffee drinker but because I was working so much coffee became something I drank until I came to Korea I never really drank coffee <clears throat> it wasn't that big of a deal for me so like 20 years ago when I was working in Canada eh, once in a while I would have a coffee just because that was what was the thing that was in my office. But when I worked at Bell Canada, I didn't have coffee. Absolutely not. It was when I started working for uh, a finance company. They had a coffee machine. Everybody was drinking co coffee, so I kind of joined in. It was okay. But the way I used to drink it was black with lots of sugar. Not good for you. So then fast forward to when I started working in Korea, you know, long hours, <clears throat> all day, had to have a coffee. So look at how beautiful that is. Lots of great fruit. So it's Saturday afternoon, so it is busy out here today. So let me get back to my story. Why, why am I looking for a coffee maker? Well, number one thing is, is that I 
used to drink the instant coffee that was made in Korea. Black with a couple of sugar. I'd have one big one in the morning. And that was about it, just to get my day started, you know? Kickstart that day, that 12 hour day that I was working. And it just got into a habit. Then, you know, uh, I've been drinking coffee now for many, many years. And uh, when I went to Thailand, so let, let's take a step back. So three years ago, after COVID, you know, I stopped drinking coffee outdoors. I, I would drink coffee at home. So no Starbucks, nothing like that. So I kind of forgot what good coffee tasted like so what happened was when I went to Thailand and just look at the stores walking by I know all of you guys like the walkabout um, when I went to Thailand I ended up having amazing coffee and I was like oh, I forgot what good coffee tasted like and I'm not talking Starbucks. I'm talking about, you know, the espresso machine coffee. Even the instant one at the hotel where you push the button and the coffee comes out, that was amazing. I couldn't believe it. And you know what it turned out to be? Well, I don't know. But I can kind of guess that it was the beans. Freshly ground beans. Um, or drip coffee. So there's two levels. There's instant coffee, which is the worst. There's drip coffee with pre-ground beans, which is middle grade. And then there's freshly ground beans made in a, you know, machine or a drip machine. And then there's the premium, which is freshly ground beans in a premium machine with the water and the press and everything like that. Hello, Dogs are all shy here, but you got to kind of be careful. The street dogs, a little bit wary. The road dogs, you got to be a little bit careful with them because they're uh, territorial. Oh, wow. An electronic store. You definitely have to come and check this place out. So, yeah, that's the first thing I'm looking for is a coffee maker. The second thing I'm looking for is um, I have a plan and I want some input from from you all so please help me out. I have the travel bug and I'm at the point right now where I could do digital nomad. So I have an idea where I would like to move to Philippines to stay with my friend Tim in Supic Bay, outside of Supic Bay, Baloy Beach. And then work from there and party with him on the weekends. Now, why do I want to do that? Well wait for the truck to go by well I want to see what is the opportunity that I have for me to to do a digital nomad style job now there's a problem there's two problems number one problem is that my company does not want that they won't allow it so I'm not gonna tell them Hopefully none of them follow my YouTube. <laughs> uh, I have found that it is better to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. And the reason they don't want anyone, I kind of bridged the topic about a couple years ago, uh, and they basically said they don't want because they don't want digital nomads. They can't control the quality. And you know they're presenting this, this quality to their clients and they can't 
you know, they want everybody in Korea with high internet speeds. So I understand that, I respect it. But what they don't know is for the last six months I've been doing it from Sri Lanka. So if I can find myself a good internet connection in Philippines and my friend is taking care of it, he says, no problem for you to get good internet connection in, in, in where he lives, in actually the, the house he lives in. So what I'm planning on doing is in January is to go out there for one month. Because January will be my slow time. Because my contracts all end in December. So, and January is when I restart new contracts. They usually start in February. So January is a slow month. So definitely have an uh, opportunity to, you know, go to the beach, hang out. I can do that here, but it's just, here it's too much family, too many friends, too many, you know, it's too, too difficult here. I, I need to get out once in a while. Right? It, it, I need to move around. I need to travel. That's that's part of my the bug I have. I like to travel. So you know, I could do it here and save myself a whole ton of money. But I did the calculations on the flight. And that's the other problem. The flight is hell because there's no direct flight. I have to go here, there, everywhere to get to Clark. I have to go to Manila and then drive. And even getting to Manila is a difficult problem because uh, there's no direct flights. I have to either go through Dubai or uh, Singapore or wherever. But yeah, that's a different story. So basically I can live there. I did the calculations based on his expenses, but you know, I don't use aircon and I eat less than he does and I eat different than he does. So I would eat local. I wouldn't have a problem eating local. Um, so, you know, his budget and, and mine I, is pretty comparable. And I don't need to go out and party every night. I just need to go out and hang out on weekends. So he has, I have, he has given me the numbers. And basically my calculation is that I can spend three months there, cost of visa, cost of everything, including flight. And it would cost me about $5,000 for three months. So about $2,000 a month. To live there that, and that includes the flight so and the flight is a big price I mean it's like about a thousand five hundred dollars for the flight so what I'm hoping to do now what does that compare to what I'm paying now that's about four times what I'm paying right now I'm paying about 500 a month to live here but I also want a vacation, which is which is what that will be. It'll be a one month vacation that may go to three months. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll stay there for six months and then go to South Korea and then come back. Because I have to go to South Korea to renew my visa. Let me go, I'm here at Dambro Singer. So I'm gonna go inside and check some things out. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I picked up a, 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 a fan for the floor of my office because when I'm sitting there, it's all covered. So I need something blowing on, on my legs and my butt because it gets way too hot there sitting for eight hours. Anyway, I want to wrap this up and say, what do you guys think about the final thing I need to buy is some kind of mobile device for Zoom calls. So my friend has told me a tablet, maybe a laptop, but why should I spend that money? I was thinking, because some of you may not know this, my Fold 2 is broken. I'm using it right now because the front, sorry, whoa, the front screen works, but the inside screens don't. So what I was thinking is using DeX or wireless or something like that, I can connect it to a smart screen or a monitor, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, and there you go, or Bluetooth. So maybe I can do it that way using DeX. I, I looked online and there were some YouTube videos showing that process. So it is possible. So what I will do before I go is I will test it out, not test it out when I get there. 
I don't have a laptop, that's a thing. If I'm gonna go, I need some kind of a device where I can do, um, you know, email, uh, Word documents, Excel documents, and Zoom calls. I don't wanna do that on a phone. Yeah, and I figured out over the last week, the only reason I need a phone is for a camera and for my uh, banking applications in Korea because they are tied to the phone. I could do it on my desktop. The problem there is it takes forever with the security features. With using an app, the security features are already in, inherent in the application. So that's my story. Help me out. Let me know what you think I should do as a digital nomad. I don't want to spend the money on a laptop if I'm only going to use it for a month. And I will never use it again for another six months to a year. And by then, the laptop is no longer, um, well, it's still good. But I mean, you know, it's something that I won't be using ever unless I'm traveling, which is going to be, you know, two times a year. So why do I want to invest in that when I already have a phone? All I got to do is spend a minimal amount of money on um, a foldable screen or some kind of small screen that I could carry with me in my carry-on. A tiny screen, like a 15-inch screen or 17-inch screen. I've seen those around. And a, and a, and a, a foldable uh, keyboard and a small mouse. You know, $200 over a like $700 uh, laptop, which I can't get in Sri Lanka. Um, so yeah, that's my idea. I hope you guys can offer some advice over the next little while. I'm gonna keep doing some research and look around. Sri Lanka Sammy, oh, I couldn't find a coffee maker. There's coffee, they don't make coffee makers around here. I have to go, I think I have to go to Colombo to figure it out. Anyway, Sri Lanka Sammy, living life, I'm out.